How's it going guys? Today we're going to be going over a problem called best time to buy and sell stock to. This is a common interview question from Adobe, Microsoft, Facebook, Alibaba, Bloomberg, and Amazon. The problem description says, say you have an array for which the ith element is the price of a given stock on day i. Design an algorithm to find the maximum profit. You may complete as many transactions as you like, i.e. buy and sell one share of the stock multiple times. And it just tells us as a note that we can't engage in multiple transactions at a time. So we have to sell the stock before we buy it again. So just going, going over one example, we're given the stock price is 715364. We want to buy on day, one, uh, day two, sell on day three, buy on day four, sell on day five. So what this problem really comes down to is finding any time that we can actually make a profit. So what we really want to do is we don't care if we, well, I guess we do care, but what we really want to do is we want to figure out a price that's lower than the next price and buy on that day and sell on you know, a day in the future. So here we knew that one is less than five, so we should buy and then sell. And then here we knew that three is less than six, so we should buy at three and sell at six. So what this really comes down to is comparing the ith price to the ith plus one price. And if the i plus one price is greater than the ith price, meaning that we could buy the share and make a profit, we want to make that transaction. So to go through that logic, what we can do, just have a quick check for edge cases. So if prices is null or prices dot length equals zero, we're just going to return zero because we know we can't make any profit if we're not given any stock prices. Otherwise, we'll have something called profit, which will keep track of our profit. And now we just want to loop through. So we'll say i equals zero, while i is less than prices dot length, i plus plus. So we're going to go through all our prices. And we're actually going to make this minus one because we said we're going to compare each of the prices next to each other. So we'll say if prices of i plus one is greater than prices of i, then we want to say profit plus equals whatever that difference is. So price is i minus 1, sorry, price is i plus 1 minus prices of i. And so if that's the case, if the next thing is greater than the thing that we're currently on, we want to buy that day and sell on the next day. And this will keep track of that profit. So once this loop terminates, all we should have to do is return our profit and hopefully that will give us the answer. Awesome, and it does. So guys, that's how to solve best time to buy and sell stock two on Leak Code. It's a question that's asked by a whole bunch of companies, so make sure you guys can do it. If you guys have any questions, be sure to leave it in the comments. If this was helpful, be sure to give me a thumbs up and subscribe for more videos to come. Good luck on all your interviews, and I'll see you guys next time.